welcome back. Well, some junior journalists are getting an early start in their careers. I'm so excited to have you all here. They're writing a magazine for kids by kids. So joining us right now, Jackson Patterson. Hi. He's the Spotlight Kids sports reporter. Becca Zerbo, she is the junior editor. And Sean Sherlock is the publisher of Spotlight Families Magazine. Thank you all for being here. So Sean, let's start with you first. Sure. You're, you're in charge of this group. Talk a little bit about the magazine Spotlight Families. It's been, first of all, thanks for having us come. Of so I really, really appreciate it. Um, we're going into our second year and um, it's been wonderful. We, um, we have mom section, dad section, but what, what we noticed about a year ago is the kids section kind of just started taking on a life of its own. Mm -hmm. And actually one of the first people that I interviewed was Rebecca Zerbo. She is the founder of Positive Pockets, which is a really great nonprofit that inspires kids. And she inspired me and um, we kept seeing that there was this really great um, need for kids to get their voices heard and I thought it'd be a great idea to have our magazine kind of also section out a kids magazine. So it's called Kids Corner. It actually launches this issue. Um, Jackson is our sports reporter and plays rugby. Rebecca is our junior editor. We have 22 kids, um, four illustrators, some photographers, videographers. It's awesome. They just got started on some of their stories actually. It's so wonderful and inspiring. Um, I came from a reporting background actually with ABC, so I'm, I'm thrilled and um, it's just been awesome. These guys are awesome. They inspire me and it's just been really cool to see them kind of uh, take off and doors open up for them like this. And Becca and Jackson, what's it like to be reporters? You're the junior editor. Becca, what do your responsibilities include? My responsibilities include making sure everything kind of runs smoothly, getting all the stories together and really motivating everyone and making sure that everyone's having a great time doing what they love to do. Just out of curios curiosity, how old are you? I'm 16, but my birthday is April 18th, and I'll finally be 17. <laughs> finally. So, <laughs> finally. One, ste one step closer to 18 and going to college. So She well, just had her college tours last week. Awesome. Yeah. You're very mature. It's Thank incredible. You. You're in charge of the group, helping get everybody motivated, like you said. Jackson, how do you enjoy being a sports reporter? It's amazing. I love being it. It's what I wanted to do. I liked... I like interviewing people and talking about sports, what I've done my whole life. <laughs> rugby player, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I play for the Wellington Wizards Rugby Club. We just started. It's our second season. Very cool. What's the first article that you've written for Kids Corner? Uh, <laughs> right now, he's actually, yeah. they're getting ready to go into a playoff. So oh. he's going to be working on the yeah. playoffs. So you're going to be writing about the playoffs. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. And Becca, what do you like most about working in journalism? Is this something you see your future including? I could definitely see something in my future, um, you know, definitely dealing with the public and expressing opinions and facts and articles, so I, it's a great opportunity for me. I love writing and I love helping to show other people different views. Can you tell she's running for class president, actually, to <laughs> vote for Is Rebecca? Is there anything I can do, Rebecca? <laughs> I can't sing. <laughs> okay, me neither, so <laughs> that's good, that's good. What do you think is the most challenging part for writing for Kids' Corner or being a part of Kids' Corner? Writing what people like, or like, mm. like how you gotta write for tons of people that are gonna read the magazine, you gotta know what they like and what they don't like. It's gonna be hard to have people get have good interest in the Good magazine. Point. You might want to talk a little bit about that NCAA championship oh. game last night. Did you catch Villanova? I won in North Carolina. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Becca, what about you? What do you think is the most challenging part? I think for me, the most challenging part is probably balancing more so than writing because I am in a junior in high school. So between testing, extracurricular activities, AP exams, Taking Just the SAT and all. The Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. yeah, the ACT is going to be fun. That's definitely a challenge. But balancing it all. And Sean, real quick before we go, how can other uh, children get involved in the magazine? So we will be expanding. Um, over the next couple of months, we'll be adding another group on as well to kind of be working alongside this group. They can go to spotlightfamilies.com okay. and um, there's actually a tab that if you are somebody that's looking, we really want to do this to create opportunity. It doesn't necessarily mean that they have to be a reporter when they grow up or they have to. She's utilizing this as her college application process. 
Um, so if they want to, they can submit their interest to do it. Um, or if they've had stories written for their newsletter and their magazine at their school, Excellent. that's how they do it. All right, great. Thank you so much again. It was so much having Thank you guys you. here. We can't Thank wait you. to see your first articles. I can't yeah. wait. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks. Taylor, we'll send it over to you.